All right, Sunday service, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I just I just called it that because that's all y'all know anyway, Sunday service. Anyway, I, I shouldn't say that, right? Anyway, I greet you in love and peace and all of that. Understanding, wisdom, knowledge, all the important stuff, love especially. So I greet you in all the important stuff. I... I, <laughs> I've been listening to everybody, except I did not listen. I did not listen to my daughter who told me to change the background or whatever. But there's a reason for the purple, so the purple is is a it's a it's an aura thing for me. Anyway, so um, man, I've been doing a lot of stuff. But anyway, this uh, this morning, um. One of the uh, one of the uh, matriarchs of our family passed away, um, and so and and who once again like this whole thing, you know. Anyway, so you know, I wish her well, Granny. Um, I love you, and you are a beautiful soul. You are. I shouldn't say you were. You are a beautiful soul. You're just not on the planet in a in a uh in a space in this space suit no more <laughs> right so anyway so travel well granny i love you and um remember even your scriptures like don't get wrong because i celebrate like when people would make the transition because she ain't in pain she you know all the stuff we used to say she, she really is it so i'm happy for her you know because her last few years on earth weren't like the, the 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 greatest in the world as far as her earth suit as far as the whole earth suit thing anyway so um with that being said um i had a lot of stuff and then it all went away <laughs> and then it all went away no, it didn't. It didn't really go away, but it did go away, but it didn't go away. So once again, we want to talk about how to teach uh, spirituality in a practical, in a practical way. And I do use the Bible a lot. And the reason why is because I was a pastor and, a, and ran ministry and worked, worked in several big denominations for several uh, well-known um pastors and bishops and all that so and worked uh worked in gospel radio and all of that for years and years and years and years and years so i've 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 seen it i've seen a lot of stuff and i've heard a lot of stuff and i've read the bible like i have a, a, a phd in theology the quote unquote the study of god if you can really study god <laughs> um so so yeah so all of all of that stuff you know notwithstanding but then when you when you look at all of the information that you can gather then you have to look at it and say well how do you practically how do you practically live life like how do you how do you live it out how do you walk it out you know how do you walk it like you talk it how do you do that? How is that a a, 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 a a thing? How is it a thing? And so that, I guess, and, and not even I guess, but, but that's what I'm trying to do. I don't want you to take this as if you don't do this, then somehow there is some universal consequence that's going to befall you. You know, I'm not saying this like in that in that manner, which is how religion wants you to think and then the other thing that religion has done it, it has some aspects of the universal oneness but it it, it takes away from understanding self-knowledge and self-awareness self-correction everything that does with self the church takes out and tells you that there is something without 
that can do what you need done in in the in the physical realm so that and that and that's the that's the like the the dividing line because in in and everything is the same so what one group calls you know demonic or evil uh, or ritualistic or occult or all of those words even the baphomet and things like that like the baphomet was the was our ancestors way of portraying the spirits because the only thing they knew was what animals what was the what was the you know so the language so i combine all of the the different animals the, the, this is what the baphomet is it's nothing evil it's nothing satanic you can use it for evil and satanic don't get me wrong and once again you can use every single thing in the creation for evil or for good it only the only intent or the only the only thing comes when this supercomputer decides what's going to be whether it's going to be good or evil and that and, and so we have generator operator destroyer and that is so I, I keep teaching and this is this is the 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 teachings that our ancestors gave us so and and then this was codified or written down by later later civilizations and as those later civilizations wrote all of this stuff down then what happened of course human interference see because before before we actually had language and all of that there, there was no way to articulate well there was a way to articulate it but it wasn't it wasn't necessary so the entire the entire dictionary all of the words that go to into any language they're a spell so once again like i talked about the other day like that's how come in the bible they don't want you uh speaking in tongues unless there's an interpreter and all that kind of stuff see that's man-made stuff that's not spiritual It's not because the tongues more likely than not are your original language. And those are your, those are probably more likely than not your ancestors speaking to you and speaking to things that are in existence in the earth. And it is a powerful language. Why, why is that language not respected out of every other language <laughs> because languages once again are spells <laughs> they're spells even the way they even the way they're spoken the way they're you know the way their certain words are like 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 french is like a beautiful language like when you hear people speak in french like oh you know <laughs> i shouldn't even say i only know i only know lady marmalade by, by La Belle. <laughs> but but it's it's a beautiful language because even when you hear it you know even that even the, the language of that song is like you listen to it and it's it is it's soothing to the spirit it's a spell that's why you spell words. That's why, you know, that's why spelling is important and all that kind of stuff in English. And because if you don't, like they're putting spells on you every day that you're just like, and then paragraph. And then a paragraph is made up of what sentences what are sentences when you go to court and the judge what does he do he passes sentence on you right so all of this is so so we haven't been like aware 
and and then the other thing is and then throughout time throughout history right throughout time all of these things all of these things have have expanded why because languages have expanded i mean there are literally thousands of languages there are literally billions of words there are little literally all of this stuff so you don't know and then even within languages there are dialects and 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 all of this stuff to break down just like my my uh my wife my beloved is is from Louisiana and so and, and they have they have dialects in Louisiana and some of them are beautiful like when you listen to them like like the way they talk he just want to talk to you it's like just talk to me girl <laughs> but but you understand what I'm saying so but these are all things that are that's why I even say even your conception and everything like that is spiritual everything just like even when I you know the way I started off talking about you know talk about um my now transition ancestor because everything that's why the experiences are important that's why I keep saying live in the experience and stop with all of the, the worldly stuff. Let's let it go. You got to. Because that's what's causing your stress. That's what's causing your anxiety. Even time. Like I, I keep telling everybody, like time is, is like, is like it is relevant, but it's really kind of irrelevant. Because everything is gonna happen in its own time. Because remember, this whole thing, this whole thing is a is a very complex it's complex it's not it's not simple and sometimes you know like like if the if the like if the earth gets mad and moves off of its course <laughs> that's gonna mess up a lot of stuff right so so and, and then what we're saying is, is that there are other there are other knowledge disciplines that deal within the metaphysical that are not being taught that need to be taught because these are things that are self help. For example, like yoga. Yoga is a way, you know. And, and you got first of all, you got people out there. That, that call people who practice yoga, you know, evil and demonic and satanic, like all of those things. And I know that not to be true. My mother, a beautiful soul, a wonderful, wonderful spirit, practiced yoga and helped would give you the shirt off of her back, literally. There, there, there was none. In fact, she abhorred evil. She didn't like, you know, if something was, if you were doing something wrong, she was the one that was going, that was going to tell you. And she taught, she taught school 42 years. She was a teacher, which is a spiritual gift. That's why that's why it's shameful to pay teachers nothing when their gift is actually from on high. When their when their gift comes from the universe. It's shameful, greedy, ugly, whatever you want to call it. It's 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 horrible because they're nurturing, they're nurturing our children. But she practiced yoga. Why? Because it because it's it's not stressful on your body, but it keeps your body in shape and toned. And see, that's what I'm saying. But people would pe people attack. I, I remember there was a place even in South when I was living in South Carolina, and there was a yoga studio there, and the guy had to paint on the side of his of his building, I love Jesus, so that they wouldn't bother his building. 
how. So that's Christian like to you? That's showing love to you? So that man don't deserve, you know, because because he's doing something to improve his body and teaching other people how to improve their body. See, this is what I mean by this is what I mean by the religion. Religion is is not that that's not good. Because li literally thousands of people and in, in, in some cultures they do. You know, just like just like the in, in, in a lot of Asian cultures, they they practice Tai Chi, which is a which is a spiritual exercise. It's the the movement and, and, and understanding the vibration and being inside of the vibration is spiritual. To in Tibet, they 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 play the bowls and they allow the sounds and the vibration. to envelop them so that they feel so that this earth suit that, that's what I start talking like this earth suit is 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 is, is, is deceptive because what is in your spirit and in your soul because what's the 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 the, the, the in, in our mythology in our mythology the, the, the follow the, the, the final thing is to weigh your soul against the feather. So how is that evil? If I'm going to take my soul and weigh it against that, then they then they try to then the next thing is they 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 try to t think that your soul everything is on is on balance, but instead of telling them that that this is your nature that this is the thing that you have the propensity to do, and because you're able to think and because you're able to reason, you are able to restrain yourself from certain aspects of your nature because you know who you are. And so you try to keep yourself balanced because think about it. To balance your soul even against a feather It's, 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 a, it's a thing. It's a thing. And that's where religion came up with sin. And these are man-made, these are man-made constructs. These things didn't exist in, in antiquity. They didn't exist in, in ancient times. The, pe the people that built those pyramids and built the Sphinx and built all of that, even though those are the one and the, the people that built those pyramids in Sudan, the people that built those 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 pyramids in Mesoamerica, the people that, that built those pyramids on the poles, the people that built those pyramids in the Grand Canyon, the people that built those pyramids in Ohio, Mound Street. That's why every place had a mound. They did so by the spirit. They didn't do so because of any book, because no book existed. They only know or only knew what they saw or what they experienced by being by by their existence. Everything else. came and and literally everything else came from their minds from imagination from from all of those things but they also understood that that that's that that was the origin
that's why you had the construct of generator, operator, destroyer, God. You are God. Because everything else is here. We made it. One of us made it. And we conceived it. Where did we conceive it from? Where did we where did we get the idea? And why and why did and why did certain people make all of the inventions? And certain people had access to the Akashic records. And certain people had access to, to certain things. Everything that's here. Everything that's here was generated by our minds. And, and the choice of using it for good or for evil also is generated in our minds. Because once again, no inanimate object is good or evil by itself because it doesn't have a spirit. The gun, once again, the gun. Go back, that's my that's my forever example, the gun. Think about it. If I got a say I got a, a shotgun. got a shotgun all you second amendment people i got a shotgun i could take the i could take the shotgun and i could use it to defend myself not to shoot anybody but just somebody's bothering me or my family leave my property by my wife is here i love my wife I, my, some of my children are here i love my children be gone. Bye bye. Right. So then I can get the I could get the the other the other shotgun. Right? And I could go out. Say I got a big. Say I got two hundred acres of land. I can take my shotgun. I can go out on the land. Look around. Shoot something. Bring it back, feed before I mention wife and children. So I feed my family. Same gun. Go get another one. <laughs> Same gun. I go to the I go to a concert in Las Vegas and start opening fire on innocent people that I don't even know. Same gun. Right? Good evil. Good evil. Okay. Same gun. Go in a liquor store. <laughs> Give me all the money out the register. By the way, which is like armed robberies, like most days, like 40 years. But like, and most people don't even have $500 in the register. So don't do it. <laughs> right? So I, I go in, I rob these people. Same good. Thank God, me and my son, we go out and we shoot at clay pigeons. It's called skeet shooting. Shoot at clay pigeons. Or we shoot at uh, shoot at cans lined up in the back of our property, right? Shoot at cans lined up in the back of our property, right? Fun. We have fun. Me and his father and son, binding time. Right? 
same gun. What you decide to do with the creation and in the creation, your operation generator, you're going to generate this thing, you're going to operate this thing, and ultimately, because you're dumb, <laughs> and you're not smarter than the creator, <laughs> you're going to destroy whatever it is. If at some point you don't allow the spirit into it. Master, able, and noble construct for man, which was which was created to eliminate because they didn't say woe man. And I'm not even gonna go into the construct of how if there is such thing as a as an outside guy, it would have to have been a woman. There's no way that a man came out of a woman. That a, that a woman came out of a man's rib. It ain't even it ain't even scientifically possible. <laughs> and believe me, this is you know because these things have not been around. These these are not concepts that that came. These are not biblical concepts that just popped up on the scene yesterday, and nobody has tried to prove or disprove them. You know. Over time, certain things have held up, and even even to the point where there have been like standard things or whatever, right? All of this to say is that all of this, all or nothing, everything is a hundred percent. That's not even possible. It's not even. It's not because of the comp, because of the universal law of balance. You know, break it down. You know, Muhammad Ali without Joe Frazier. Let me, you know, let's be clear. Without Joe Frazier, Muhammad Ali is not Muhammad Ali. He just beats the crap out of everybody. Because he's so good. But it took somebody to come along that was just as good as him in order to bring out the greatness in him, iron sharpening iron. You can't just, you can't just come up with, you know, with, with, with these, with, with, with these things, it's, 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 it's law. And that's, what, that's, and that's another thing. So we want you to understand certain things the, in the universe are law. It don't matter what you think. And it don't matter what your religion says. It don't matter about none of that because it's going to go down a certain way because that is the order, the concise order of the universe. And that's the first thing you need to see when you look up. See how complex this creation is. And then realize how blessed you are just to exist in. just to exist. Even your existence. Once again, I got to go back to my man, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He said, what? He said, the odds of you being here are so astronomical that you are, for 100% certain, you are a miracle. Believe it. And you have a purpose and a path that is meant for you, but it's not always and, and probably not through a religious construct. It's through a spiritual construct. Remember, everything is going to start off in the spiritual and it's going to manifest itself in the physical. That's it. And if you and if you respect the, 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 the spiritual, then what happens in the physical will become better and greater and better and abundant and all of that. Celebrate, 
love on one and love love on one another, talk to one another, speak to each other. Change the spiritual climate. Change the spiritual climate. That's what you are. You are a generator. Generate the spirit. Generate the light. Generate the the energy. Generate what you want. Generate it. You have that ability. That's what the spirit is within you. That's what the light is. 